if you haven't been keeping up with our journey, then we are currently in Chicago. We arrived last night. Um, it was a long, long drive. I was really, really tired. So we just checked into the hotel and passed there. It's currently 4 a.m. and we are about to head out to check out some of the sites. Look, where is it going? Is it going to get out of the house? Yes. Is it going to get out of the house or is it going to get out of the house? No, no, no. America, the land of opportunity for corporations, built on the backs of slaves and countless genocides around the globe. This country is none like any other. Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate. But for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my eight years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips, and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back, with more than a month on the road. An experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. One of the Doge boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on earth. From bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks. From alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world. Subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts. Our Karnava Doge Kafla. And tag along for a journey of a lifetime. The Great American Road Trip. coast-to-coast -coast road trip across the U.S. It's been an incredible journey so far. We started out from the west coast and made our way east from the southern states and now we're making our way back west through the northern states. Today we're making our way from the Pennsylvania wilds to Chicago. This will be the last major city we visit. It'll be Chima's first time here and I love Chicago regardless of the crime rate so we're both pretty excited. We'll be passing through Ohio, but honestly it's a shithole so we're not going to stop here. We're also touching the south end of Michigan, but again, not really worth the time and money to visit on this trip. And once again, before we continue, we need to have a stop at a laundromat so we can have some clean clothes for the final leg of the trip. If you haven't been keeping up with our journey, then we are currently in Chicago. We arrived last night. Um, it was a long, long drive. I was really, really tired. So we just checked into the hotel and passed there. It's currently 4 a.m. and we are about to head out to check out some of the sites. But we've got a new situation to deal with. Um, none of this trip weren't as planned. So we've been going around random places and we haven't really been thinking about how much it costs. So. Currently we've got about maybe, I don't know, three gas tanks worth of money left and we need at least 16 to 20 to get back. I think we're going to be stranded in Chicago, so let's see how this goes. Chicago, the Windy City, or more recently, Chirac. The city thus crime rate is much higher than the US average. Much, much higher. The gangs here are like Wolverines. Not the X-Men, the animal. Extremely territorial, rage-filled cocaine aficionados ready to pop off a few shots at the slightest inconvenience. Real small dick energy. Being here somehow feels scarier than the gun market at the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. But it's all beautified, so it's easy to get distracted. Iraq has a population of more than 2.7 million. It's among some of the largest cities in the US. Famed for its bold architecture, it has a skyline punctuated by skyscrapers, often covered in clouds. The city is also renowned for its museums and art, and of course, violent crimes and the miserable deep dish pizza. Thankfully, we're not here to try their disgusting effort to ruin pizzas for humanity. We're here to check out the sites.
so this time we've only stopped here to show Chima a few sights. Now we've got to push on to Mount Rushmore and then Yellowstone for our final destination on this incredibly long journey across the states. Georgie Wave, we got to Chicago in the main city at least at around 6 a.m. So we were late and we were at 4 a.m. and we were at 4 a.m. and we were at 6 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 a.m. and we while checking out the sites, we got distracted and forgot we'd parked in a limited hour parking spot. Nas, nas, you man, nas, nas. Gari to ho jayegi, baby. Gari to ho jayegi. establishment in the states, Cracker Barrel. After having what was surprisingly a nice lunch served to us by some racist but hospitable uptighty whiteies, we had a bit of a stretch because we're looking at a long drive ahead and we need to cover good distance so there won't be many stops. So this is the Mississippi River. Welcome to Minnesota. Yay. Welcome to Minnesota, baby. Yeah. 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 I went over the mountains and went like 44 or something. Yeah. So like, yeah. But, and also, I got the Viper plate um, changed from there, but they, they were really, really shit, honestly. We were supposed to be at Mount Rushmore by 6 p.m. today, yeah. but we forgot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we were supposed to leave Chicago at 4 a.m., but we did not. So um, now we're like we've got a reservation at Yellowstone, so we're just gonna miss. Um, Mount Rushmore, it's not that much of a miss, I mean it's right there, but we don't have any money for gas to go. <laughs> and it's also going to be late at night, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> we're driving straight to Yellowstone now. <laughs> but he says we're going to get there at 9am, but it's a 14 hour drive, so we'll probably pass out after another 6 hours of driving. Let's see how far <laughs> we get. <laughs> Off-roading will be up <laughs> ये क्या unexpected offroading होगी बहन शर लेकिन इसीलिए ये गाड़ी हम लेके आए थे क्योंकि इस तरह के high water वगैरह बहन शर आप से निकलने कोई मसला नहीं सलाम flood आया है बहन शर ये देखो flood waters के बीच में से जा रहे हैं well I guess we missed Mount Rushmore but to be honest who even gives a shit about some dead racist presidents Yellowstone is a much better place to visit if you ask me water on road उन्होंने रोला डाला हुआ था Lake Francis South Dakota, 